story for the first statement of Tirkorlu pen. Did I bring Krishna like a crorer? The story is Krishna was the eighth son of Devaki and Vasudeva. Kamsan wanted to kill him. He was trying and trying his best, but he couldn't. Then finally he was planning for a Yaga, Tanur Yaga. And he wanted to bring Sri Krishna and Balaraman for this function. He is asking his minister Akrura to bring them from Brindavanam. Akrura is a very staunch devotee of Sri Krishna and he has been living in the Namasmarana of Sri Krishna and he was so happy that he got this opportunity and he didn't think of the purpose for which he was asked to bring them but he was happy about the time he is going to spend with Sri Krishna and the time he is going to listen to Sri Krishna. So he was very happy to leave Mathura. So he is going to Brindavana and he met Sri Krishna and he conveyed the message given by Kamsan. Then Krishna and Balarama they got ready and they said bye to all the devotees at Vrindavan and they were moving to Madhura. And while Akrura was going from Madhura to Vrindavan, he was thinking of only the presence of Krishna with him. He was he is going to be with Krishna, he is going to be with Krishna, he is going to listen to Krishna. Only that was going in his mind. So, his bhakti was rewarded by Sri Krishna. So, how did he do? While they were coming back from Vrindavan to Mathura, on the way, Akrura had to stop the journey for doing his daily routine that is Anushtanam. That time both Krishna and Balarama decided to bless him with the darshan of Shirapti Nadan that is Krishna lying on Adi So Akrura had the darshan of Shirapti Nadan and he was so happy and he, he was speechless, he was, he was literally in tears and this shows that how bhakti, the true devotion to God is rewarded. So here Tirkolur pen is referring this and saying that I am not a devotee like Akrura, I am not lucky like Akrura and I have not been sent to bring Krishna like uh, Akrura, so I am not good. So that is why she is referring her as the droppings of rabbit.